So you're interested in purchasing the all new 2024 Hyundai Santa Fe, but also cross time again or curious about how it stacks up with the current Hyundai Palisade. In this video, I want to compare the Santa Fe calligraphy and the Palisade calligraphy, which are the fully loaded trim levels in each respective model. See how they compare in terms of features, options, packaging, and pricing, and see overall what you might get opting for one model versus the other. So as usual, I want to put this disclaimer out there in that I created this list of differences and similarities to the best of my ability using the pricing guides for each model. Now, if you believe anything is incorrect or just need additional clarification, go ahead and leave a comment down in the comment section. I will do my best to answer them. And of course, I highly recommend you check out the build and price tool for both the Palisade and the Santa Fe once it becomes available on HyundaiUSA.com. So first up, I'm gonna start with the standard features that you're gonna find on each of these two models, both the Santa Fe calligraphy and the Palisade calligraphy, then move into the features that you're getting on only the Palisade over the Santa Fe and vice versa, the Santa Fe over that of the Palisade. Then wrap up this video with pricing and give you my overall final thoughts. So first up, both these vehicles are gonna come with Hyundai Smart Sense safety technologies, including Highway Drive Assist 2, Lane Fall Assist, Smart Cruise Control, Blind Spot Detection with Blind Spot View Monitor, and et cetera. The list goes on. It's a very impressive list of Hyundai Smart Sense technologies. Next, we have LED headlights, tail lamps, and interior lighting, front and rear parking sensors, surround view monitor with Blind Spot View Monitor, heads up display, dual 12.3 inch infotainment and gauge clusters, heated and ventilated front seats, heated steering wheel, and heated second row seats, power driver seat with leg extension, memory driver seat, dual pane power sunroof, rain sensing wipers, premium audio system, manual second row sunshades, the 110 or 115 volt power outlet, uh, remote smart parking assist, power passenger seat, blue link, and the list goes on. So all of these are gonna be standard across the board on each of these two vehicles. Now finally, moving into the features that you're gaining in the Palisade over that of the Santa Fe, uh, you're gonna get auto dimming mirrors for all three mirrors, so both side mirrors and the interior mirror versus only the interior mirror in the Santa Fe. You get the ergo motion driver seat, power folding third row seats, ventilated second row seats, heated third row seats, and finally passenger talk with the in-car intercom. So those are all the features I was able to find that you're getting in the Palisade clear fee that you will not get in the Santa Fe. Now, vice versa, in the Santa Fe, you're gonna get all of these features over the Palisade. You're gonna get full power second row seats with recline, tilt, uh, relaxation, et cetera. So both captain chairs in those vehicles are gonna be full power versus that of the Palisade. You get the Ford Collision Avoidance 2, Lane Fall Assist 2, uh, which I believe are just more advanced or newer versions of the same technology. Dual wireless charging pads versus a single in the Palisade. Power folding side mirrors. Park distance warning for the front, rear, and side of the vehicle versus only the front and rear in the Palisade. UVC sanitizer compartment. Fingerprint recognition. Digital Key 2.0 High version, which is NFC, uh, Bluetooth, low energy, as well as ultra wideband. C-pillar assist handles, rear air conditioner. Again, not sure if this is a dedicated secondary air conditioner for the vehicle or just the rear air conditioner controls. If it is just the controls, you also get that in the Palisade, but if it is another air conditioning system, uh, that is not found in the Palisade to my knowledge. You get over there software updates for the map infotainment as well as some of the other modules inside the vehicle where it's only for the map on the Palisade. And finally, you do get the wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay for the infotainment system. And lastly, I guess there is a hybrid powertrain option in the Santa Fe uh, versus only an internal combustion gas uh, engine option in the Palisade. So all of those are gonna be found in the Santa Fe calligraphy that are not available in the Palisade. And as you can see, that's a quite impressive list of equipment, uh, but still both vehicles are gonna be extremely well equipped. Now, when you're looking at exterior and interior color combinations available, both vehicles will have a good color palette. I will say the Palisade is getting a little bit long in the tooth versus the Santa Fe, which yes, has some carryover colors from the previous generation, uh, but introduces some very new colors, including the Rockwood Green, uh, the Brass Matte color, and the Ecotronic Gray Matte as well, among a few others. So uh, nice to see the color palette in the Santa Fe is just a little bit newer, uh, stuff like that versus the Palisade, which has been around for several years now. Uh, but it seems to be a very nice color palette, a little bit on the darker side in terms of the greens, blues, the burgundy, stuff like that. And it would be nice to just see a handful of brighter colors on the Palisade. But overall, each will offer a decently respective uh, variety of colors. Now, when it comes to the inside of both these two, you're going to get two options on the Palisade. We're going to get uh, three on the Santa Fe. Black, gray, as well as a dark forest green and beige interior on the Santa Fe versus the Palisade, you're only gonna get a black and a navy beige two-tone interior. So I guess a little bit more color combination variety on the Santa Fe versus that of the Palisade. But again, that comes down to just personal preference. 
both vehicles will have Napa leather seating surfaces. Now next up, moving on to the size of each of these two vehicles before we wrap up with pricing. This is actually a very interesting aspect because the Santa Fe grew in size over the previous generation, now offers a third row where before it previously did not. So the Santa Fe is gonna come in at 190.2 inches long, 74.8 inches wide, and 70.1 inches tall with a wheelbase of 110.8 inches. Now I'll go ahead and put all the dimensions in each respective vehicle up on the screen so you guys can kind of compare them side by side while I look through them myself. Um, you're basically gonna get a larger vehicle all around in every dimension on the inside in the Palisade except for headroom and head space. Uh, the Santa Fe is just a little bit more of a boxier, I believe taller design vehicle. So it will eke out the Palisade and headroom in all three rows versus that of the Palisade, which is actually an interesting aspect. Uh, but outside of that, leg room, hip room, shoulder room, everything like that is gonna be bigger in the Palisade by you know inch, two, three inches, depending on which dimension you're looking at. And in terms of car capacity, uh, this is gonna be noticeably larger as well, although not terribly bigger, about five cubic feet bigger or so. Uh, but the one aspect that is going to be bigger on the smaller Santa Fe is going to be the tailgate or hatch opening at just over 50 inches wide. And I believe if you look at something like the Palisade, I would assume it's in the upper 40 inch range, uh, something like that of a typical midsize three row SUV. So um, most dimensions are gonna be bigger on the Palisade. Although as you can see, there are a few uh, very close in the Santa Fe or just a hair slightly larger in terms of headroom. Now, finally, moving on to the pricing information, which is probably one aspect you guys are most curious about. Uh, the calligraphy all-wheel drive in specific is gonna come in at $49,695, including destination. And the Palisade calligraphy all-wheel drive is gonna come in at $53,745, again, including destination, which brings a difference of $4,050 between the internal combustion Santa Fe and of course the internal combustion Palisade. So a little bit over $4,000 difference and just under 10%, you know, seven, 8% of an MSRP difference, um, you know, is, you know, fairly close in terms of what people may consider cross shopping. But at the end of the day, I think the biggest difference between these two vehicles outside of the price point is gonna be some of the new features being introduced on the Santa Fe and are of course likely gonna be found on the next generation Palisade in the next year or two. Uh, but also the, you know, you know, the powertrain configurations, you have the gas as well as the hybrid in the Santa Fe. Um, but again, the Palisade at the end of the day is just gonna be the larger of the two vehicles. So all things to consider, but I uh, highly recommend checking out or cross shopping each of these two vehicles once they both are available on your local dealership lot. Um, the Santa Fe's are just now starting to ship from their factory or production. And of course, Hyundai uh, Palisades have been around in the refreshed 2023 and 2024 models uh, for several months and should be fairly readily available. Although at times they are still hard to come by uh, depending on how many show up at a given dealership, you know, what their wait list, if at all wait list is and uh, everything like that. So uh, those are gonna be some of the main key differences between each of these two models in their fully loaded respective trim levels. If you guys enjoyed this video and or found it helpful, make sure to hit that like button below. It greatly helps out the channel these videos. Subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know what you guys think of the two vehicles side by side in this you know, feature comparison uh, size stuff like this. I can't wait to do a physical in-person side by side comparison where I sit in the vehicle, uh, touch all the materials, take a look in person, and just you know see overall what each one has to offer at the same time side by side. Hopefully I will be able to do that over the coming months. Uh, because, you know, like I said, these should be readily available in most of their trim levels here over the next one to two months. Although I do believe there is going to be a little bit of an additional weight if you're wanting the hybrid Santa Fe or the top calligraphy in specific. Uh, those might be just, you know, a few weeks or a month or so behind some of the lesser trims. But still, very impressive vehicle on paper. Can't wait to see it at the 2024 Chicago Auto Show where I assume it will be available, as will the Palisade. So maybe I'll get a first, you know, somewhat side-by-side -side impression video there. Uh, but overall, like I said, you guys have to let me know your thoughts, which one you are most curious about or most interested in purchasing if you're interested in either of these two vehicles down in the comment section below. But anyways, with all that being said, I appreciate the continued support and hope to see you guys in the next one.